Across Venezuela, thousands of people have been staging demonstrations to demand humanitarian aid be allowed into the country. But President Nicolás Maduro objects to international aid shipments, saying that instead the world should help the Venezuelan government to import its own supplies. As shortages of food and medicine become more severe, many are pressuring Maduro to change his mind. And now, a showdown over aid seems inevitable. With the help of the United States, Venezuela's opposition has gathered several tons of food and medicine and stored them at this warehouse, just across the border from Venezuela. Juan Guaidó, the president of Venezuela's Congress, has pledged to move these supplies into the country. On February 23rd, we will take humanitarian aid into Venezuela. Starting today, we will mobilize transport workers, nurses and doctors to make this a reality. Maduro has described the opposition's aid stockpile as part of an attempt to topple his socialist government. He's blocked a border bridge with trucks and containers to prevent aid shipments from coming in. Though the bridge has actually never been open to commerce, it was one of the places the opposition had picked to bring supplies into the country. The government and its supporters acknowledge that shortages of essential goods exist in Venezuela. But they argue these problems have been caused by economic sanctions that make it harder to import goods. Venezuela doesn't need any handouts. If the economic blockade didn't exist, Venezuela could buy and import all the products it needs. The opposition blames the shortages on years of mismanagement that have led to hyperinflation and depleted government income. Maduro wants Venezuelan people to go hungry so that he can enslave them and blackmail them through hunger. That is why we are mobilizing this aid that includes many basic foods. 62% of our country lives in extreme poverty. 90% only eat twice a day. The push to bring aid into Venezuela is also part of a power struggle. Guaido argues that Maduro was re-elected in a sham vote last year and is trying to convince the military to support his plans to form a transitional government. But most of the military still stands behind Maduro. As the opposition tries to move aid into Venezuela, troops stationed along the borders will have to decide if they obey Maduro's orders or if they side with Guaido and allow much needed supplies into the country. Meanwhile, thousands of Venezuelans continue to leave their country to escape the economic crisis. Those who are left are pleading for help wherever it comes from, including patients in this dialysis clinic. We need more medicines, and yes, we also need food. The truth is we are going hungry, and if illnesses don't kill us, we will die of hunger. Humanitarian aid has become a controversial issue in Venezuela. For the opposition, these supplies are meant to bring relief to thousands of people. For the Venezuelan government, they're part of an effort to undermine Maduro's presidency. Manuel Rueda, The Newsmakers, Cúcuta, Colombia.